Okay, I am going to share to you on how to do this diamond stitch. This diamond stitch all uses a single crochet and um, an extended single crochet. So it's a very simple. It just look a bit complicated, but once you get the hang of it. It's very easy. This, um, however, is very thick, so it might cost you a lot of yarn if you use this stitch. So, but this will make a very very good uh, blanket. Okay, and the front. You can see the diamond and then at the back you see it's a mesh type of stitch so it's very nice you see we have our extended single crochet is visible at the back and in the front are the diamond okay Okay, I have here my uh, foundation stitch. It's up to you, whatever you prefer for your foundation stitch. You may check on my other videos. Link is at the description box. Stitch count is multiples of two. So for this particular uh, swatch, I have here 12 stitches. Okay, let's start. Chain one and turn. Okay. And single crochet. So for the first two rows, we are going to make purely two rows of single crochet. Again, we finished our two rows of single crochet. Okay, now let's have chain one and turn. Okay, we start with a single crochet. Now, on our next stitch, we will also have to start our extended single crochet. So, in our first, first row, the second stitch on our first row, we insert a hook and then we pull up a loop. And then pull through two loops so that is our extended single crochet and then single crochet and then we make again an extended single crochet so it will be a skip of this I mean an alternate of this extended single crochet so we will insert our hook from this stitch okay then our typical single crochet okay Mm -hmm. just proceed with the alternate of a single crochet and the extended single crochet a 
actually for this uh, stitch it doesn't actually matter if you use uh, multiples of two or you make it multiples of two plus one and then that's it we have our first extended row extend uh, then alternate and our arrow with the alternate extended single crochet okay then chain one and turn okay now let's do single crochet and then you see on the extended crochet that we did in the previous row it forms a V now we are going to attach together the V side by side okay so this V and this V the leg which are side by side to each other we are going to insert our hook through those two legs and then we pull through and then pull through okay and then single crochet then the next V legs and then pull through pull through and single crochet again pull through and pull through and then single crochet pull through pull through and single crochet pull through and single crochet then the end of the row is just a single crochet okay then Okay, chain one and turn so we are going to do again the alternate uh, extended single crochet however on this row we shall start with the extended single crochet and then our single crochet Okay, then we will have our next extended crochet. It should be on the left side of the previous uh, V, our previous extended single crochet. It's because when we insert our hook there, it shoots at the center of the V on the other side. So you cannot insert the hook before but actually it's better if it's it's sure like after the V it's at the center okay and then single crochet then you see and then single crochet so if it's not like if you if you 
insert your hook and it does not actually uh, goes to the center of this V you may move to adjust the legs because sometimes it's because how you slant your hook okay Okay, then chain one and turn. Then single crochet. Actually, we're supposed if there is another uh, V on the other, we will have to. Uh, pull through be, uh, between these two V but we don't have so let's just skip then we have two single crochet then there our legs pull through pull through and single crochet so this is how our diamond is being shaped okay because it's quite apart with each other so we need to push it together bind it together to have our diamond okay so this once you get the hang of it is already very easy it's uh just on the first like first three four rows it's a bit awkward but after that when you see already how the diamond is being shaped it becomes clear for you and easier so let's do another uh, couple of rows I show you so you can follow okay chain one and turn then single crochet then beside the V should be at the center okay then single crochet and then chain one okay so let's make again our diamond okay we bind the 
edge so it so the diamond becomes clearer okay Okay, there you go. This is our diamond stitch. So it's very easy. Everything is single crochet and extended single crochet. So please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.